I'm going to tell you my luxury wish list for 2023, including brands like Hermes, Rolex, Cartier, LV. AP etc. I really love everything from the bottom of my heart and I will share all details about these items including price details as always. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know what's on top of your luxury wish list for 2023. Let's get right into the video. How about start this list with my favorite Rolex? For those of you who are long-term subbies, you know for the past few years and I have been working on my Rolex stainless steel Daytona aka Panda the Daytona is currently retail for $14,800. In one of my videos, I talk about how much I spent with Rolex so far and how much I still need to spend to get the Panda and I'll link that video down below for you to check it out after this video. After watch that video, you will know the gap between my current total spending and the spending requirement. Despite I got a couple of my favorite watches from Rolex including my favorite diamond bezel they just with mother or pearl dial. 2023 is the year I want to put the Daytona on hold. A very practical watch something that I really really want for 2023 is the Pepsi which is the GMT Master 2 with the blue and red bezel. If you know my watch collection you know I definitely have a passion for GMT the color scheme and the look and the time zones. The contrasting color of Pepsi is really different from other GMTs that I have and it's a really fun one. After getting the Pepsi plus my Rubier, my bad girl, my GMT collection is absolutely complete in my opinion. Do you like a watch collection video from me? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. Currently, the Pepsi with Jubilee bracelet is retail for $10,900 and the Pepsi with the Oyster bracelet is $10,700. What do you think of this watch? Which one do you like better? I'm super excited and really curious to see where life will lead me and which one I will end up with. The next one is an item from Louis Vuitton. You might be super surprised as I don't get anything from Louis Vuitton anymore. The item I really want to get from LV is the LV Small Ring Agenda cover. This is my Hermes Agenda and basically I want an agenda that is smaller than this PM Agenda that can fit into my really really small bags like Chanel Square Mini so that I can carry it more often with me everywhere. For the sizing online, the LV Small Agenda should be able to fit into my Square Mini. If anyone have the Louis Vuitton Small Agenda and also the Chanel Square Mini, feel free to leave me a comment down below to let me know if they can fit. I love and enjoy writing so much so that I can bring the Small Agenda everywhere with me. The monogram the Small Agenda cover is currently retail for $450. I'm planning to get this one pre-loved just to get a better price. I don't really have any preference on the print or material and I'm pretty open. Which material do you think is nicer? I will also get the insert from other places instead of Louis Vuitton since they are much more affordable. I'll link them down below in the description box if you are interested and I can't wait to show you when I get it. In my previous fine jewelry wishlist video, I mentioned that I would love to have one pair of earrings from Van Cleef and Appels among the two motif Magic Alhambra Mother of Pearl earrings or the two motif Lucky Alhambra earrings in Mother of Pearl or the single Magic Alhambra earrings in Mother of Pearl. I have not been able to see any of them in person at this time. The two motif Mother of Pearl one is $6,000 $400 and the Lucky Alhambra earring is currently retail for $7,150. The single motif Magic Alhambra Mother of Pearl earrings are currently retail for $5,250. I was on the wish list with my local boutique on this for a while and I haven't been able to see anything in my local boutique and even 
in December when I visited the Paris VCA's Vendun flagship and I also asked about these three pairs and they don't have any of them in stock. I guess I just have to see how the inventory goes for these three pair as time goes by or maybe by the time they become available I will change my mind love something else more but among these three pair which one is your favorite leave me a comment down below to let me know so that I can get some help from you to help me decide as well if you watched a lot of my videos i have tons of cartier shopping vlog and i have to admit that i have a really soft spot for a lot of cartier jewelry on top of my wish list right now is items from the clash the cartier collection i personally think the clash the cartier bracelet in the small size looks really good on me and with my existing stack as well even if it doesn't have any diamond it still look really special and edgy the small bracelet in rose gold is currently retail for 7,000 USD. The small Clash de Cartier ring from the same collection also looks really good. The ring is $2,240. The ring and the bracelet just look the perfect match. It seems to me that I probably have to get both of them at some point but between the bracelet and the ring which one do you like better? Leave me a comment to let me know. I have also tried on the Just Uncool necklace in 18k yellow gold in person. I think it's such a chic piece that you can dress up and down. What I'm really intrigued to see is the same Just Uncool necklace in rose gold with diamonds here. The diamond version is set with 57 brilliant cut diamonds totaling about 0.2 carats and is currently retail for $15,200 and the plain one is $12,500. Which one do you like better? The diamond or no diamond one? Honestly, there are also a couple of pair of earrings are really nice from Cartier too, like the Just Uncool hoop earrings. The one that I'm trying on here with the diamonds are $7,700. The plain one without diamond in the same style is $5,050. Which one do you like more? Me and my never ending Cartier wish list. I do feel my love toward the Royal Oak has been growing over time and I don't have any AP boutique in San Francisco so for those of you who have AP boutique in your city you are considered super lucky. I don't know when or where I will be going next that I can get an appointment with AP to try on some watches but I really look forward to that. I would love to see which one I like more when I see them in person and also depends on the inventory as well. For example this 37 millimeter royal oak with stainless steel 18 karat pink gold two-tone watch is currently retail for $31,100. I feel the silver toned grande tapisserie dial is super nice. The bracelet is so iconic and stunning too. This stainless steel 37 millimeter AP is $25,300. The same one is also available in the gray grande tapisserie dial in the same price. And another 37 millimeter in the light blue grande tapisserie dial is in the same price as well. Besides these, I'm also open to diamond ones in smaller size like 34 millimeter. So I'm gonna be really nice to myself on this watch since I've been working really hard for this watch and I will also want to make it a super memorable timepiece for myself. Any of them that I mentioned are really really good option to me. Leave me a comment to let me know which one is your favorite. I will definitely keep you posted on my AP watch. If you watched my Hermes video on comparing buying a Birkin or Cali from the boutique and the reseller, I absolutely became from someone never value the premium that you have to pay to get the back from reseller to appreciating the reseller route and I think it's such a good way just to save you time and energy especially for the right bag. So I will link that video down below for you to check it out after this video. This year my Hermes wish list is to get a 9.5 or 10 out of 10 Birkin 25 or Kelly 25 or even Mini Kelly from the reseller directly with the exact 
color, leather, hardware, every single aspect meeting my requirement. So it is kind of up in the air which one exactly I will get since there's some range between these three type of bags, right? So I'll have to see which one I'll be able to find first. You know, whatever you get from the boutique is kind of out of your hand. Even the spec might be really close to what you're dreaming of. With the reseller, the chances of seeing 10 out of 10 back is totally possible. The Birkin 25 is a bit over 10K from the boutique, but with the spending and the current situation, any total number is possible to get it from the boutique directly, to be honest. But buying from a reseller, I can totally get a perfect Birkin 25 for less than $30,000. If I'm paying for the premium anyways, right? I might just get the perfect one for myself. I have been looking for these bags on a regular basis from the reseller market since I finally realized that, that I'm in the market for the perfect Birkin 25, Cali 25, Mini Cali from the reseller market. I will absolutely keep you posted on which one I end up getting and I promise you will be the first one to know and I know it will be a super amazing one. What do you think of my luxury wish list? What's on top of your luxury wish list this year? Don't forget to leave me a comment and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!